Hello everyone and welcome to our next video. In this video, let's first learn how to multiply a number with another number of the form which has repeating nines. That is, let's learn how to multiply a number with say 9 or 99 or 999 or 9999 and so on. For convenience, let's follow the nomenclature that the number of the form repeating nines is called multiplier and the other number is called multiplicand. So we can study this type of multiplication under the following three heads. The first one is where the number of digits of the multiplicand is equal to the number of digits of the multiplier. The second case will be where the number of the multiplicand digits will be less than the number of the digits of the multiplier. And the final case will be where the number of multiplicand digits is greater than the number of multiplier digits. So let's start with the first one. Where the number of multiplicand digits is equal to the number of multiplier digits. For example, let's start by multiplying 23 with 99. 23 has 2 digits and 99 has 2 digits. So the number of multiplicand digits is equal to the number of multiplier digits. Now in this case, the answer always consists of two parts, the LHS and the RHS. So how do we find the LHS? For LHS, we simply subtract 1 from the multiplicand. Our multiplicand here is 23. So to get the LHS, we simply subtract 1 from 23. 23 minus 1 is obviously 22. So the LHS is 22. Finding RHS is equally easy. For RHS, we write the complement of the multiplicand. The complement of 23, as you know, is 77. So RHS is equal to 77. So our answer is 2277, that is LHS followed by the RHS. So let me repeat it again. For LHS, we just subtract 1 from the multiplicand and for RHS, we write the complement of the multiplicand. Let's take another example. Let's multiply 658 with 999. Now again, the multiplicand is 658. So the LHS is 658 minus 1, which is obviously 657. The RHS is the complement of 658. The complement of 658 is obviously 342. So the answer is 657342. Now let's take a scary looking number, uh, something like 87459866 into 999999. That is, 9 is repeated 7 times. Now the only thing to note here is that the number of multiplicand digits should be equal to the number of multiplier digits. Only in that case we can apply our formula. Now again, finding LHS is very easy. We simply subtract 1 from the multiplicand. So the LHS is 87459.85 and the RHS is the complement of 87459.86. The complement of this number is obviously 1, 2, 5, 4, 0, 1, 4. So the answer is 87459851254014. Notice how fast our method is. Multiplying 87459.86 with 7 nines is not an easy job. But by following our process, you can get the answer in maybe 10 seconds. In fact, even less than that. Now let's go to the second case where the number of multiplicand digits is less than the number of multiplier digits. Now the process to follow will remain exactly the same. The only extra thing that we have to do is add the right number of zeros to the left of the multiplicand so that their digits becomes equal. For example, let's say we need to find 584 into 99999. Now 99999 has 5 nines. 
So we add two zeros to the left of 584 so that 584 also becomes a five digit number. So write 584 as 00584. Now the entire process will remain the same. So LHS will be 00584 minus 1 which gives us 583. RHS is the complement of 00584. The complement of 00584 is 99416. So the answer is 5839914. Now let's move to the final case where the number of multiplicand digits is greater than the number of multiplier digits. Now this case is slightly more complicated and it involves one extra step. In this, we first divide the multiplicand into two parts. Let's call them part 1 and part 2. Now this division should be performed in such a way that part 2 which is on the right side has the same number of digits as the number of 9's in the multiplier. For example, let's say we want to multiply 547856 with 9999. Now as 9999 has 4 digits, we divide 547856 into two parts such that the part 2 which is on the right hand side has 4 digits. So let's write 547856 as shown. Then we add 1 to part 1 and subtract that from the multiplicand. This will give us the LHS of the answer. Now what is our part 1 here? The part 1 is obviously 54. So we add 1 to 54 which gives us 55. Now let's subtract 55 from the multiplicand. That is, let's subtract 55 from 547856. This will give us the LHS. Now performing this subtraction is very easy. 547856 minus 55 gives us 547801. Now finding RHS is exactly same. For RHS, we write the complement of part 2. Now note here, we do not write the complement of the multiplicand. We only write the complement of part 2. So RHS is equal to complement of 7856 which is equal to 2144. So our answer is 5478012144. Let's do one more question. Let's find 7489654 into 99999. Now 99999 has 5 nines, that is 5 digits. So we divide 7489654 into two parts such that part 2, that is part on the RHS, has 5 digits. So we write 7489654 as shown. Now add 1 to the part 1. So part 1 becomes 74 plus 1, that is 75. Now subtract 75 from the multiplicand, which gives us the LHS. So LHS is 7489654 minus 75, which is equal to 7489579. Now RHS is the complement of part 2. Complement of 89654 is 10346. So the answer is 7489579103461 so this is the process that you need to follow when you have to multiply any number with 9 99 999 or any number which has only nines in it now let's learn another very useful result let's learn how to find the quotient and remainder when any number is divided by 9. Now, when we divide a number by 9, in order to find the remainder, what we do is, we simply find the digit sum of the number till we obtain a single digit number. For example, let's say we divide 223 by 9 and we need to find the remainder. So we find the digit sum of 223 the digit sum of 223 is 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is equal to 7. 
So when 223 is divided by 9, we get a remainder of 7. But by using this method, we cannot find the quotient when 223 is divided by 9. We can only find the remainder, right? What is the quotient? We don't know. So let's learn another method of doing such problems. Now remember, we will start from the leftmost digit. In the first step, we write the leftmost digit. So we write 2. Then add it to the next digit and write the sum. 2 plus 2 gives us 4. So we write 4. Now add this to the next digit. 4 plus 3 gives us 7. So write that. Now there are no numbers left, right? The number obtained in the last step is the remainder. And the number obtained till the second last step is the quotient. Now what is the number obtained in the last step? We wrote 7 last, right? So 7 is the remainder. And number obtained till second last step is 24. We wrote 2 and then 4, right? 24. So 24 is the quotient. Hence, when we divide 223 by 9, 24 is the quotient and 7 is the remainder. Let's take another example. Let's say we divide 345 by 9. Again, we'll start from the left. In the first step, write down the leftmost digit. The leftmost digit is 3, so we write down 3. Then we add it to the next digit, that is, we add 3 to 4, which gives us 7, we write down 7. Now add 7 to 5, which gives us 12. As this is the last step, because there are no numbers left, the quotient is 37, the remainder is 12. But we need to use some common sense here. When we divide a number by 9, we cannot get a remainder of 12, right? When any number is divided by 9, we can get a remainder from 0 to 8. A remainder of 12 means that we again need to divide 12 by 9. 12 on dividing by 9 gives a remainder of 3 and a quotient of 1. So our quotient increases by 1. So it becomes 37 plus 1, that is 38. The remainder is 3. Let's do one final example. Let's find the quotient and remainder when 4 to 1, double 8, 0 is divided by 9. We follow the same process. We start from the left. We write 4 as it is. Then add 4 with 2 to get 6. We write down 6. Then add 6 with 1 to get 7. Write down 7. Now add 7 with 8 to get 15. We have a 2 digit number here. So we do the same thing that we did above. We divide 15 by 9 to get a quotient of 1 and a remainder of 6. So we increase 7 by 1 to get 8 and write 6. Now add 6 with 8 to get 14. Again we have a 2 digit number. 14 when divided by 9 gives quotient 1 and remainder 5. So we increase 6 by 1 to get 7 and write 5. Now 5 plus 0 gives 5. So the process is now complete and the last number that is 5 is the remainder and quotient is 46875. Let me end this video here. In the next video, we will learn how to multiply any number by 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19.